Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the liquify command to interactively distort an image. You can liquify a layer by selecting the layer to which you want to apply the effect and then by selecting filter and then liquify from the menu bar. That will launch the liquify dialog box that we see here where you can make distortions to the selected layer's content. To begin, you can select which areas of the image layer you want to freeze, protecting them from distortions. You can also thaw frozen areas, making them editable again. To freeze a section of the layer, select the Freeze Mask tool from the left side of the Liquify dialog box. It's located right here. Give that a click. The right side of the Liquify dialog box, you'll need to set the size of the brush that you'll use, its density of application, and its brush pressure. So I think we'll leave the brush size at 35. We'll leave the brush density at 100, which will freeze 100% of the pixels, and the brush pressure also at 100. Then you just click and drag to paint a mask over the areas of the image that you want to freeze. Just like that. Now the tint of the mask indicates the degree of freezing, so be careful how you apply it. If you only freeze 50% of the pixels, for example, the area will be distorted but only about half as much as the surrounding unfrozen areas will be. You can also unfreeze masked areas by selecting the Thaw Mask tool, located just below it right here, and then clicking and dragging over the masked areas to unfreeze them, making them distortable again. So I could go in and click and refine that mask if I want to. Now. If you need more precision when you're making these selections, notice that you do have both the hand and the zoom tool, so you could click in there and zoom in and again use your tools to make more precision, just depending on what you want to do. Now also, if you don't see the mask as you're painting it, make sure that you have the Show Mask checkbox checked at the right side of the dialog box. It's located right here. You can also uncheck it to preview how the distorted image will appear without the mask interfering at any point. Now, if you only want to see the active layer in the preview window of the Liquify dialog box, then uncheck the Show Backdrop checkbox right here. If you check the Show Backdrop checkbox, you can specify which layers to use in the Use dropdown, and below that you can choose to view the additional layers in either Behind, In Front, or Blend modes by selecting the choice you want from the Mode dropdown. The Opacity slider allows you to set the opacity of the other layers in a preview window. Now, I like to leave that unchecked because I want to see the, the distortions without the interference of everything else. So then to apply a distortion to the unmasked areas, you select the distortion tool that you want to use from the list of buttons at the left side of the Liquify dialog box. They're all located over here. For example, we have the Forward Warp tool right here. Give that a click. And that will move the pixels in a forward blend with your brush stroke. So I can click and you'll see what that does. Now you can use the Reconstruct tool to reconstruct areas of the image that you've distorted. So if we look over here, this is the Reconstruct tool. I can give that a click and I can then just click and drag and it will restore those pixels. Now note that once you click OK to accept image distortions, you cannot use this tool at a later time to reconstruct previously made distortions. 
you use the twirl clockwise tool, this next one right here, to spin the pixels that you click and drag over with your brush in a clockwise direction. Click there and there. We'll see what that does. Now also note that you can hold down the Alt key while using this tool to spin in a counterclockwise direction if you prefer. You use the Pucker tool, the next one here, give that a click, to pull the sides of the brush stroke inward towards the center of the brush stroke. Like that. So it kind of puckers the pixels like that. You use the bloat tool right underneath it to push the pixels from the center of the brush towards the outer edge of the brush. Let's see what that does. You use the push left tool right here to move the pixels in a perpendicular direction from the direction that you drag the brush stroke. For example, if you drag the brush down, the pixels will be pulled from the left to the right as you drag downward. As you drag upward, the pixels will be pulled from right to left. You can also hold down the Alt key while dragging to reverse the direction from which the pixels will be pulled. So you can click and drag and you'll see how that distorts your image. The mirror tool, located right here, copies pixels to the brush area as you drag. You can click and drag with this tool to reflect pixels that are perpendicular to the direction in which you drag. Like that. That's kind of a fun one. And then we have the Turbulence tool, located right here, which scrambles pixels but leaves a smooth appearance similar to clouds or waves. Now, if you want to save all the commands you make in the Liquify dialog box, click the Save Mesh button. Enter a name in the Save As dialog box and then click Save. You can load the saved mesh using the Load Mesh button for later use if you want. If you click the Restore All button, however, what that will do is all of the changes that you've made in the current session will be reversed and the image will be restored. Like that. When you're finished applying any of the changes to the image, you can then just click OK to apply the liquefaction to the selected layer. So it really just kind of depends on what you want to do in your image. We'll add some new distortions since we just undid them. really have some fun with this tool. Play around with it. See what kind of distortions you can make. But when you're done you just click OK and you'll save your distortions and you'll see that the area where we applied the mask is left untouched. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.